Hi guys, welcome back to Stardew Valley. We're starting off day four. We just had a wonderful day of fishing and breaking rocks yesterday. Just like a, like a, I don't know. I was about to say a prisoner. That would be more of the rocks, not so much the fishing. Fish, prisoners don't get to go fishing. I was breaking some rocks and finding some more. I imagine his voice being like, um, Hagrid from Potter Puppet Palace. Just mostly making sounds like we're falling over. I go back to bed. I mean, he is kind of like depressed anyway, so. But he did give me instructions on how to craft a furnace. So, I do appreciate that because now I can make my tools better once they finish digging out the cave. So, yes, yes, craft a furnace. I'll do that later. Uh. Uh, yes, I would like a better backpack, but right now I can't afford it. So that'll be next goal. There we are. How lovely. Yeah, I think we're just gonna have a, a fishing day. After, after, of course, I wear the crops. I'm not going to walk away from my crops unwatered. That would be insane. How, how dare I do such a thing? Um, but, yeah. We're going we're gonna to do some fishing. And we're going to put everything else away. Except for the hoe. Because, oh, wait. We'll break some of those up. Um... We'll come back to that. Let's bring those with us, though, for f nutrition. And I should bring the fishing rod because that's what you do for fishing. I'm so smart sometimes. It's just, it astounds me how intelligent I am. How the idea of bringing a fishing rod to go fishing. Brilliant. All right, well, um, so unfortunately, fishing is not exactly something to make money from because the only fish that are actually worth anything are the super rare fish that only appear once in the game. So most of the time fishing is done more just for like extra money or for fun if you enjoy fishing. Not exactly a lucrative um, way to, to make your earnings. Uh, really all the money is in farming and that could be either from animals or from produce but uh, Either way, you gotta work your way up for that too. So, let's see. These will be worth something. Ooh, a gold one. That'll actually be worth something decent. So between these and a couple fish, well, we might be able to buy that bag upgrade today. Fingers crossed. Because then, once we have the bag upgrade, I'll feel safer being able to go into the mines. Hello. Oh. No. Dang it. Um. Hey, what's up, Willie? Willy, my man. All right. Uh, anyway, how much will you buy these for? Oh, wonder. Oh, sweet. We only need 200, 200 bucks worth of fish. So that's like, I don't know, five, five fish maybe. Hopefully, if I get some good ones, I might not get good ones. Oh, I did want to catch fish in the river though, because if I catch some chubs, then uh, I can. Oh no, 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 no. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Oh, whew. Alright. Worth it. It's a good thing, like, the line doesn't break ever, though. Because <laughs> I feel like that line would have broken from all that straight. Look at all those geodes. Maybe I will have to go geode hunting today. Alright, let's catch some chubs. If we can catch some chubs, we'll get some bonus money. And then we can not only by the uh, by the bag but we'll be able to get all our geodes for tomorrow covered because they do cost money to break the geodes but um, if you get good stuff out of them you'll be able to earn it back from uh, all that good stuff <sighs> river fishing always seems slower than ocean fishing probably because the nice sound of the waves always calms you great a piece of algae everyone's favorite thing and I'm being totally sarcastic because algae is awful. 
Because <sighs> if I get two chubs, that's an extra hundred dollars that Willie will give me. And between that and selling the fish, I think I'll be able to get enough. Come on, give me a perfect. Stay perfect. Yes. That is not what I wanted. Bring me the chubs. As everyone has said at some point in their life. Maybe. Yeah, I, I realize I just ramble so much, especially when playing games like the... Oh, sunfish. When playing games like this, and I, I hope I don't say anything like offensive or inappropriate, like completely by accident. Because I do like watch through these to edit it, kind of, but like if I'm if I make an inappropriate joke, like I apologize. Again, this is I want this one to be a little more a family friendly video, I guess you could say, because it's a mostly family friendly game. But uh that doesn't mean I won't sometimes say something stupid, so, um, you know, expect something stupid, potentially? I don't know. <laughs> I'm seriously not going to get any chubs. And it makes me sad. Just sunfish, huh? Alright, just sunfish it is, then. Keep catching them, because I have no idea how much sunfish are worth. Do. By the way, if if you find this music catchy, you can not only buy the soundtrack, but someone has also made a, um, uh, I guess you'd call it like a remix album, but essentially someone covered a bunch of the songs from this soundtrack on the piano, like just solo piano play, and it's gorgeous. So. If you ever look that up, it's a it's a wonderful addition to anyone's collection of video game music. Um, this music too. Uh, again, this game was made by one guy, and that includes the music. So he made not only everything in the game, but also all the music, all the interactions. He programmed it. He he did everything with this, and it still blows me away that one person was able to do this on their own like he might have had some help like some testing or stuff like that but like either way that's still a hugely impressive thing to do so you know good on you chucklefish you did something great all right well 40 150 oh look at that perfect all right let's go get a bag i'm sorry i strained that one i think i was trying not to burp <laughs> that's why i stretched that out um Alright, let's go see Pierre and see what is, what is wit. I just went like Russian or something. Who have I not met yet? Why is my face like that? It's like hiding the beard. I don't know. My face looks weird. Uh, let's see. I haven't met Marnie or the kids or anyone up there. No, all these old people. Okay. Hello. Hi, Granny. <laughs> Let me go meet your mean, mean husband. Why, hello, sir. This is George. He's a jerk. It's because his legs don't work. And that's not saying that people whose legs don't work are jerks. George is just a jerk. Um... He's a grumpy old man. All right. Now we have more space in our bag. We can carry more things. We can do more stuff at once. This is super convenient and makes everything a whole lot easier. Um, let's see. We won't have time to get to breaking these geodes by tonight, unfortunately. That's okay. We'll just, uh, I don't know. We'll do more fishing, I guess. We got nothing else to do. Why not? Right? My little private fishing spot. Oh, I should probably show you guys JoJo Marts. Just, uh... You may remember that at the beginning of this game, 
I was working for the Joja Corporation. Well, they're basically Walmart in this game. Um, you know, AKA they're evil. Um, by the way, if you, if you actually, uh, shop at Walmart because you think you're saving money, um, take, just check, check around for other things. Cause honestly, um, I actually did some research one time and Walmart's prices for most of their everything was more expensive. And that includes the Walmart brand stuff. So, um, if you think you're getting a better deal by going to Walmart, uh, there's a reason that they're able to make money and it's because they have so many products that you go there for the convenience, but what you're paying for is more of, you're, you're paying that extra expense because of the convenience. So don't trust Walmart and don't trust Joja. Uh, yeah, they're garbage soda. Yes. Look, I mean, look at this place. Like it's, it's like a cult. Join us and thrive to caramel. Okay. I wish there were some caramel porters at the at the saloon. They need to have those. She she appreciates her beer. Like I know the character of Pam is basically an alcoholic. Um, welcome to Joja Marts. How are you doing today? I don't believe we met. I'm Marius, Joja customer satisfaction representative. I wish that spelled out something like J C S R. They should have had something where it's like, let's like like Joja operations. Uh, I don't know something like make it spell out like joke or something like that. I don't know. I, st <laughs> I got halfway through that and gave up. Uh, so you have to join if you want the Joja experience, AKA uh, if you join, you can get cheaper seeds and stuff, but currently it's cheaper to just buy them from the, your little store in town, which, which you should, because again, Joja is awful. I always find it funny when people do playthroughs on this game because there is an achievement for if you buy a Joja pass, it basically uh, eliminates your chance to do like the uh, the town center activities. And uh, like I I do have the achievement, and I was like I felt so bad doing it. I was like, why would I why would I ever choose to do this? Like down with the corporations. Like no way, absolutely not. I wouldn't support that. But. I would for an achievement, I guess. So, I guess I'll be a corporate sellout for that. Oh, hi, Haley. Yes. Nice to meet you. Hello. I haven't talked to you, little boy. <laughs> oh, a stranger. <laughs> Kid, you you really should listen to your mom better, cause that's you you. You're gonna get yourself kidnapped or something. <laughs> you just you seem like an okay stranger. Like your judgment is impaired, child. I'm gonna say that right now. Uh, I'm I'm a long-haired guy with a beard, and I have a skull on my shirt. I'm probably not an okay stranger. But you know, if I said that, then really, I mean, I'm I'm judging people who look like me, which people already do, because everyone judges a metalhead. Or punk, or whatever you want to say. It's all it's all good. It's all acceptable, even if everyone doesn't agree with it. Oh, I mean, I bought stuff from you, but I hadn't introduced myself to you. So nice to meet you, Pierre. Oh, hi, hi, Abigail. I don't think I've met you yet, Caroline. Okay, is there anyone else here that I can meet with? Oh wow, I'm already up on fishing as well. Very nice. Uh, who else do I still need to meet? Alright, so just over at the Marnie Ranch, and then that guy, I forget his name. And, and the wizard, of course. Obviously, everyone needs to meet their town wizard. You have to support your local wizardry. Just to, just to make sure that you know that this game is not 100% realistic, that... It's like, oh yeah, we, we have a wizard. And it's like, excuse me? And they're like, yeah, it's just, it's just a wizard. It's not a big deal. And it's like, it is a big deal. You have a wizard. Why aren't we talking more about this? There you are. Stop. Stop right there. Demetrius. That's right. I knew your name. How could I forget Demetrius? I've met your daughter and your stepson. They're both fine people. 
Well, maybe not your stepson so much. He's got issues. Is this open yet? Keep on hammering away, buddy. You got this. All right. Well, I guess I'll head on home. Maybe cut down some more trees or something. Cuts down trees, I eat my lunch, I go to the lab, but I'm not gonna sing that because I don't want to get copyright struck for Stardew Valley. Like, I'm already playing games is already risky enough for having people be like, oh, copyright infringement. How dare you play the music that's in the game? Anyway, I don't know how it works. I'm still figuring this whole stuff out, so. But I am gonna cut down more trees because I feel it in my blood, the need to to fell trees with a with one swoop of the axe. Bring it down upon the ground, etc, etc. Just gonna clear some space here. Yep. That's all fine and dandy. Hadly doodly. Getting late, that's fine. My energy's low, that's fine. Just gonna be like, just a few more. Make the most of it. All right, I think we're done. I'll get these little guys. All right, so I'll save up some of this stuff. Why not? I'll sell that sap. I'll sell these, I'll sell the fish, keep the wood, yes. A little extra cash in the pocket, good for you. All right, go to sleep, Let's wake up for Friday morning calisthenics. I don't even know what that means exactly. I just know it's exercise, which means I probably wouldn't actually want to do it. I should do some exercise today. Today's my day off, so that's why I'm trying to record now. Get all, get all my recording done. Do some uploading, but also I want to start exercising because it's important and because I sit around too much already. Hi, Marnie. You brought me Whiskers. Whiskers the cat. That's not actually Whiskers. I will not name him Whiskers. But I don't know what I should name him. Yes, I will. Absolutely. And we will name him... Paul. Yes. He looks like a Paul. Welcome to the farm, Paul. Yes, you are a good kitty. What the... Crow ate my beanstalk. Oh my gosh. That is, okay, that's infuriating. All right, we grew our parsnips. Very good. Can't believe a crow ate my dang old thing. Oh, good. All right, so now that that is cleared, we'll be able to do some digging. All right, um, what, oh, no. Very good. Uh, farming, level one. Does that mean we can craft a scarecrow yet? No, we can't. How unfortunate. But we can do other things. So let's get this, look at this. Put those away. Because now I want some good crops. So I gotta get some good stuff to sell. All right, let's see here. Let's see if I can get any more mixed seeds, because that'll be money saving. It'll be nice and efficient. <sighs> Y'all aren't being money saving and efficient. I need, dang it, that one would have been a good one. Oh, come on. Give me the mixed seeds. The 
This is not all how I was hoping it would go. I was hoping I'd get at least like three or four. Well, really? Not even that one? Alright, well, guess we're buying all our seeds. Oh, speaking of buying things, actually, there's something of significance I should go look at. I think it's open by now. Seriously, still, still nothing. <sighs> At least there's a dandelion. I probably can't afford anything, even if I wanted it, but... Alright, those are insignificant. Alright, good. At least I'm not missing anything right now. So there's, so this is the, the traveling cart. It shows up on Fridays and Sundays. Alright, there's one. And sometimes the traveling cart has rare items, or stuff that you can't get easily. Um, which I guess is the same as rare. Um, but the, uh, the best thing that it does, honestly, is um, that you can get a few items that you can only get through there until you wait till the second year. Primarily, the main thing it would be um, uh, um, cabbage, because you can't grow red cabbages in your first year. You have to wait till the second year in summer to get the seeds for that. So when you are trying to grow that and you're like, oh man, what do where do I get that cabbage from? You have to wait that whole time. But if you get it from the traveling cart, you can have it done in the first year. So that's that's kind of one of the only ways you can finish the, 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 the town hall in the first year is by getting lucky with the traveling carts. So, and unfortunately, it doesn't look like we got lucky with many seeds at all, which is frustrating. So I'm gonna need some things to sell so I can buy better seeds. So I am gonna keep one parsnip. Um, I don't think he buys the fiber, but I will keep this one parsnip for future reference. Um, so those we can sell. I don't wanna sell my leek yet. Um, All right, we'll see. We'll see what he'll buy. I should put this in so we can at least have that space cleared. All right. Oh, yes, sweet. Okay, so this is happening, which means tomorrow we'll get the letter from the guy, from the wizard, so we can go meet the wizard. Oh, hi there. Well, you see, this place is really an eyesore. It's really unfortunate. I'm not a very good mayor, in fact. I'm, I'm actually really terrible. I kind of neglect my duties, and I'm always flirting with the locals. And, uh, well, I, I have a... This mustache just offends people. I, I wish I didn't have it anymore. And I lost my shaving kit. Uh, I'd rather sit in front of the TV. Yeah, they, I mean, they would. Sorry. Your community is kind of uh, ruined right now. And it's all your fault, Lewis. You're too old. You should step down and let one of the young people become mayor. Particularly me. I think we should have an election, and I think I should be the new mayor. So, Lewis, I'm telling you right now, you're going down, buddy. You are you are out of this. Your job is over. You've, you've failed. And, I mean, look at this. There's It's literally, there's squatters. You've got squatters living here. It's terrible. How, how could you? Uh, you're, you're incorrect, sir. It's actually magical beasts. And I'll tell you where to find them. Right there! <laughs> Fooled you. The chimes... Like, who, are there chimes, like, hanging in a window somewhere? Like, I get the wind, like, going through, like, the cracked walls and stuff like that, but what's with the chimes? I don't know. It's it's peaceful anyway. I kind of like it. All right. <sighs> All right, Lewis. I'll see you later. Mm. 
<laughs> catch that rat. Yeah. I'll catch the rat. Yes, I will. Is there more things? Oh, no. Okay. All right. So we're going to explore this building real quick. We're going to see... Oh, look at that. So this is the, the town center. Oh, there's my little guys. I can't read any of this. Isn't that unfortunate? That's okay, though. We'll learn later. So now that I've read that, we have a goal. Um, ahead. Who's left to meet? Is it just, uh, just, just Jasmine? Jasmine, because they don't count the wizard right away, which is nice, because you can't actually meet the wizard until you get this open. So I'll have to go find Jazz, because that's an extra couple bucks for me. Oh, sweet. Oh, that's good. So I can sell the good one and keep the bad one. Uh, Clint wants a daffodil. Clint, you're in luck, buddy. Because I have a daffodil for you. Alright, sir. Why won't you buy that? Okay, whatever. It's the lion. And we'll keep one daffodil. Alright. I need... Let's let's do let's see, we have fifteen spots, so So that's that's six. So we need nine things that cost three hundred dollars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five. Get a few extra. Why not? All right, cool. Well, now I'll go sell that. Show, show Clint that daffodil. He'll buy that, and then I'll have some money to pay for breaking up in some rocks. It all works out. First, let me find Jasmine because that's an extra hundred dollars for me too. There she is. All right, what up, girl? I hope you have a better response to strangers than this guy. That's more appropriate. Give someone a gift? I don't have any gifts. Alright, kid. Guess what? You're getting grass. This isn't very fun. No, it's not. But I don't like you, so that's okay. Enjoy that grass. <laughs> that's the best. Is given given people gifts that they hate it's just it's the caring thing to do all right you wanted a daffodil here you go yes enjoy uh hi uh, i'm clint i'm the blacksmith i do blacksmith things i'm hagrid <laughs> all right let's bust open these let's see what we get here clay that's useless that's all right well, we'll get some things. Oh, right. We, because if we do this, then we'll get some more seeds to plant. Fantastic. All right, well, not a great haul. Oh, we got four things. And there's already one in the museum, so that's five. So I think that should be enough to get us some free seeds. Um, there we go. All right, I've got some donations of some cheap rocks. Enjoy your cheap rocks. Yes. Cool. Give me things. Yes. More cauliflower seeds. Fantastic. All right. So let's go plant those. Oh, and we still have space. Why don't I go? I'm gonna go down to the down to the beach and see if there's some more seashells and stuff to collect. Because usually after it rains, there's actually a, like stuff like washes up on the beach usually. So let's see if there's anything good. Or maybe there's nothing at all. Oh, look, a piece of trash washed up on the beach. <laughs> no, just kidding, Elliot. You're a nice guy. But you are a writer, and that's disappointing. You should do something more with your life. Like make a video game. That's what you should be doing. Programming by the sea. A perfect 
a perfect world for you. I don't know. You probably would hate that job. Sorry. I don't mean to tell you what to do, Elliot, but you're failing right now. You're failing. You're flailing. Except, why are you standing there? You shouldn't be skateboarding right here. That's where the garbage cans are. I wanted to search through your garbage. <sighs> oh well. I guess I'll just have to look for garbage later. Alright, uh, what was I doing? Was I gonna go look for more stuff? Nah, I'm just gonna go, go up, plant the rest of our farm for the night. Get things all put together and watered, taken care of. So now, now that we got a little more of a, a little more of a, um, a farm, we can, we can enjoy some more, some more vegetables. They'll make for great, great plants. There we go. All right. I'm going to plant some stuff. We're going to hope that these grow into nice, beautiful, uh, um, Oh, things. I'm I'm losing words. All right, it's a good thing I'm probably stopping after this vi after this video in terms of recording for the night. So, because I'm running out of things to say, and it's not even night. It's actually the m pretty early in the morning. So, so I don't know what I'm saying right now, and that's all right. All right, let's get to water in. So now, every day is going to be a little more exhausting because I have a lot more stuff to water. But that's okay, because it's all going to turn into great profits later. Hmm. Let's see. I wonder... Nah, I'll go. I'll go to the caves in the next, in the next round. I don't think I have enough energy to handle cave running tonight. But uh, as the, the letter from Joe just said, they've cleared out that uh, the boulder block in the way, which means that we can start going in the caves and searching for treasure. So that's kind of fun. I'm going to save this guy because that's actually a fairly rare thing. I have no, really, I have no clay. Like, even from digging up all that stuff? Interesting. All right, well, um, all right, so I'll sell this. And I guess I'll just go, <sighs> I guess I'll cut down more trees. Nothing else to do right now. Might as well just catch up on my tree hunting. Everyone, everyone knows a good tree hunter is always cautious around their prey. These darn trees are known to attack at a moment's notice. Oh, hey, finally, got something. So uh, you may notice that I've been avoiding this plant life here from chopping it down, and there's a reason for that, because eventually I can build a, uh, a silo which can store up uh, wheat for my um, for my animals, which I don't have yet, obviously. But um, once you have that, uh, anything that you cut from that th this grassy stuff turns into uh, food for your animals. So it's much better to just let it keep growing and then cut it all down later because otherwise it just disappears into nothing and you've kind of just wasted your time and energy on it. So I uh, just let it be and whisper words of wisdom. Let it be. Another copyright strike. Great job, Mark. 
You're ruining this channel before it even has a chance to grow legs. I should have known. I guess I'm not cut out for this YouTube business. Which is not going to be a business. This is not a going to be a big success. This is purely for my entertainment. Cat, you're already in the way. I love you, but you're in the way. Oh, I should give him water. Um, you want to make friends with your animal, which they will eventually do as you, uh, if you pet them every day and give them fr fresh water every day. You know, it's super important for pet ownership, which is uh, about what would normally be required of a pet owner. So, all right, so that's the end of day five. So I'll wrap this up here. Um, we'll just kind of do these in like two day in increments. Sometimes if, if there's like if there's like an event on some days, like maybe I'll do uh, like a, th a third day tucked in there. So, uh, but that's it. So I'm gonna, oh gosh, excuse me. I'm gonna head to bed now and um, I'll see you on the next round. Let's see, let's see what we've done today. All right, we can make a scarecrow. We can make some fertilizer. That's awesome. Now suddenly all that sap is useful. And, okay, so those sell for one each. They are pretty bad. So, but now we've got a decent farm growing. We'll be able to grow a lot more stuff, and uh, we'll save up from here. So if you like the video, like it, uh, leave a comment. Tell me if I'm doing things wrong. Tell me if, uh, you know, if, if the sound sounds okay, if the video looks okay. You know, if you're interested, please buy buy Stardew Valley. Um, I I'll, I'll probably say that every time, but uh, yeah. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.